And, and talking about uh, the the gender, it seems that the women have been um, uh, recognized as AAPG awardees are very few. Um, I think that there is a presentation by the professor Christopher Jackson of Imperial College that he gave at AAPG, by the way, where he said that the percentage is 3%, 3% of uh, uh, female AAPG awardees in the last uh, 72 years. And also he said that 5% of women, they were honored with the Distinguished Lecture Program, which is the oldest uh, and most prestigious program of AAPG. Uh, do you have a, what is your idea about this uh, diversity or, or lack of diversity, at least in the awards? Well, we're, I'd have to go back and look at what the numbers he's talking about. And, you know, when you, you have to look at these numbers and, um, you know, how to kind of explain them is, is that we have to have people that are qualified for the awards. And I'm not saying that there's not females out there that are not qualified for the awards. And I'll, I'll show you the other side of the coin is if you look, we've had we've had several, uh, probably more than most organization female presidents. Uh, we have a situation this year where both candidates for president are female, uh, you know, and we've got Denise Cox two years ago was female. Uh, so we've had we've had a pretty good run here in the last 10 years of people that, that uh, females probably have been 40% of our presidents over the last 10 years. I'd have to look that number up. I'm talking off the top of my head, but but we've had we've had several female presidents. Uh, I, I look at the AAPG. I haven't noticed in my my career, and, and maybe this is, is blinders on my part, but I hadn't seen anybody within the AAP judge people on gender. Uh, you know, women, this is an industry that is, is is tough on women just because they in the old days they had to go out in the field and and i can't imagine uh, a female geologist going out in the field in places like argentina south america uh the the middle east and places like that and being out there miles and miles away from everything west texas driving out to a rig in the middle of the night uh, there's a lot of vulnerabilities there and there's a lot of stories and if you realize uh, Robbie Greaves, who is a past president, put a deal out called Anomaly, talking about, I think it was the 100 most influential women in the AAPG. And you go through and look at those those women there. Uh, getting into the specifics on, on the awards, you know, you'd have to go in and look at those things. And I don't have those numbers in front of me. And I'd have to go back and, and research that. But we have tried uh, a lot lately in the last 10 years to make sure that we were looking at at diversification. We have a lot of very strong females in the organization. And, you know, we're constantly looking towards them uh, for leadership and guidance and stuff like that. So do you mean that before in the past uh, uh, there was a bias against uh, women? No, there wasn't that many women in the industry. I mean, if you go back and uh, go back, even like when I started in the 70s, uh, there wasn't a lot of women that went into geology. Uh, the STEM program that they've done is unbelievable for what it's done to empower women to get into the sciences and stuff like that. The WTGS, the West Texas Geological Foundation, we've actually created an award, uh, and that award actually rewards, uh, we call it WINGS, Women in, in Geoscience. And we give $5,000 scholarships to a, a female recipient that's in the university studying geology. And, you know, we're trying to do everything. And you see organizations all across the, the spectrum trying to go in and help empower uh, the women and the ladies in, in our profession to get degrees and stuff. But when you go back and look, I mean, there was when you go back and look before STEM programs, there was a very a lack of people getting involved in, in, in the programs like that. And so from that standpoint, like I said, you had to kind of look at it from from that context is is how it came forward. And, and looking at specific numbers, I, I can't do that. I don't look at the demographics. I look at people and I don't look at whether they're they're. So when you look when you look at people, do you see which percentage of women around you when you act as a president of AAPG? Yes. And, and and I look. I mean, no, I mean, what percentage of people are women? Like when you act as an AAPG president, is like ten percent, fifty percent. What is the percentage of women? Well, when I go to the meetings here in Midland, the the uh, different society meetings, uh, I probably see uh, it. Just looking at it and thinking about it, probably fifteen to thirty percent are women at, at the meetings. So. Uh, 
and I mean, I've hired, I've hired uh, uh, females in my office. I actually have, uh, uh, basically, my VP is a male, and then I got two geologists here. One's female and one's male. And uh, so, you know, I, I look at people and look at their abilities. When I go and try to form a committee, I don't go in and say, you know, well, I want to see whether it's a male or female. I go out and see the, who, who the people are that, that get the job done and, and have the work. And we have a lot of highly qualified ladies in this industry that are that are stepping up. And, and like now you can look at them leading. Look at the look at the top oil and gas companies out there. Uh, the a lot of the ladies leading these organizations are AAPG members. A lot of those ladies have not been engaged in the organization as much because they're heavily engaged in BP, you know, and other companies like that. So, so you have to kind of look at that. I mean, they, they're not involved with AAPG because their jobs uh, dictate that they're not going to be able to spend time doing a lot of things there. But these are very strong and resourceful and, and very knowledgeable. And that's why they're leading some of the top uh, countries, uh, companies in, in the world. Do you think that uh, associations like AAPG, they should uh, create specific awards recognizing minorities and diversity? We do. Uh, just like I told you, like the wings, we give out scholarships to, to, to young ladies. So it's something that you support. That is, uh, should yeah. should, it, yes. should uh, the association do more or you, you think that this is the right balance? Well, I think what we do, we go out and, and we look to the candidates and we we typically don't have very many like our distinguished service award it's not dedicated to one or two people so we can actually give that to several people you talk about diversity our slate this year we've got uh, two females running for president uh, a female running for vice president of regions we have a female running for uh, treasurer so we have got six officer candidates out there and out of the six four of them are female yeah, that's but pretty, but the a, but today the, the 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 president uh, uh, is 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 a male. The next president is also a man, Richard Fritz, and the executive committee is represented by eight people, only one uh, woman, only oh, one on woman this, on this yes. EC. And it wasn't because they weren't run as candidates. We had candidates in there for some of that, but then like next year, if you look at it, there's a good chance that we could end up having half of the executive committee be female. So all right. So so we have some stuff like that. Uh, all these things are things that you have to work through. And 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 like I said, I don't I don't see a a gender bias in APG. And when I look to do committees, I look for the strongest people uh, that are out there that have the talents and the ability to do it. Uh, I can't speak for everybody in in the organization and everybody around the world. Everybody doing everything. But, you know, we're in a situation that, that I think that we're, we're trying within AAPG to empower uh, everybody. I mean, just not along the gender lines. Mike, uh, thanks for being so open and talking about these uh, hot topics about the uh, AAPG. The members and also the members are very interested in these topics. And I really appreciate that you are talking with us uh, about this. Uh